to art therapy was... <laughs> I should say that my road to art therapy was um, not a direct route, much like many of the other people I've met. I had 12 years in business and I started to explore ideas that I needed more purpose in the work that I was doing and that um, just making more money, making more profit wasn't enough for me anymore. Um, so I went hunting for a career where I could find that type of purpose, whereas where I found free arts for abuse children. And I started volunteering at a battered women's shelter and I'll never forget the first day that I walked home from facilitating a um, pack session with the battered women children um, at that shelter and um, the amount, the sense of purpose I had leaving that shelter just blew me away. I just felt energized and full of life because I actually did something to help people in a crisis situation, which was a whole lot better than marketing and marker research <laughs> for consumer packaged goods. Um, advice for those that have been looking to join the field. Um, I think um, I think the ADA conference is an amazing place to get an idea of the different things that our therapists are doing across the country and the world and um, it's such a broad field and there are so many different ways to go, so many different ways to apply this, so many different populations to work with and ADA is just an amazing place to get a taste of a lot of those different things going on and really be inspired by some of the great work that's going on. Um, changes. I'm a student, as I said, so I don't have a lot of opinions on that. But, um, you know, I definitely think it's a growing field and that we all have to work very hard to gain visibility and to um, have the general public understand what art therapy is and the importance of it and the power of it. So, you know, if you're entering this career, it's something you should be aware of that you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to help make that the field visible. Um, what is the best thing about being an art therapist? Um, you know, again, just to, back to that sense of purpose. I had a practicum experience this last semester at Central Juvenile Hall in East LA. And um, I knew I wanted to be there, and it was exactly what I wanted it to be. It was, it was just incredible the amount of traumatized children that are in that facility and just how much they really need our help. Um, anybody's help and attention and listening and you know all the training I had was fantastic I was glad that I had the training I had up to that point but really what they needed was a person to sit across from and just be present just to listen just to hear their story so they wouldn't be invisible anymore um, and I'm glad I had the training I did it was important to have that but it was just I don't know how to find words to describe the experience I had there it was, it was really incredible and I hope to return someday.